All right, we're on our way to Burley Park Flea Market in Howard City, Michigan. And it's a double bonus day. I have two daughters, Tamara and Delaney. And we're going to go hunting for treasures. It's Memorial Day. And it is a huge flea market. If you're not familiar with it, the only flea market I've ever been to bigger than this one is Shipshawana in Indiana. That one's pretty massive. This one is big. This is like a carnival. Edit that part out. <laughs> this is like a carnival atmosphere. There's about 10,000 people from beginning to end. It is really, really busy. It's shoulder to shoulder packed because they only do a few a summer. They do the three holidays and then two extra ones. So there's a lot of vendors there, over 250 people selling. A lot of people looking for treasure, antique store owners are there nice and early. We don't go super early right when the gates open because we're just looking for things that we want for ourselves. I'm looking for things to resell, not a big deal, but um, yeah, the lines start at 7 a.m. We're definitely not doing that. It's 9 a.m. right now, so we're just enjoying the day and having fun. Tomorrow, though, I think she's going to luck out. She's probably going to find a boyfriend. <laughs> whatever yeah she'll probably get hit on about 500 times but that's okay she has a knife <laughs> i'm gonna be looking for stuff i don't know belt buckles coffee mugs things that people just pass up and don't think have any value i'll just be looking for stuff like that but above all else you gotta have fun if it's not fun then don't do it don't torture yourself trying to find stuff and you have to like people too. There's some really interesting people at these things. Uh, this particular flea market is further north than where I live. So um, lots of interesting people with lots of cool stories, lots of reasons why they sell. Some people own a business and that's why they sell. Some people just clean out their attic. And some people have to do it um, as an income because they, they depend on this for their livelihood. So lots of cool people. There's a car show that's pretty small usually about five cars so if you're into that that's kind of neat anything you're going to be looking for delaney books and crochet stuff and books scrapbooking stuff and scrapbooking stuff pretty much crafting stuff and the other thing too is i have not bought a chest strap yet so i apologize i'm not going to walk around the flea market with a selfie stick filming because that kind of freaks people out a little bit. Um, it just looks weird. And they, some people don't like to be videotaped, so I can't do it real secretively. So what I will do is I'll hold it in my hand and occasionally shoot some video, uh, but there's not gonna be a lot of video there. But I will do a haul video at the end to show you what we bought, uh, what I think it will sell for. So yeah, good times. It's not supposed to rain until later today, so it's looking good. Any last words? No. No? Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Alright kids, we are here. And it is a madhouse. Um, I'm hoping to get a good parking spot under a tree, but you just don't know. Uh, so here we go. You really can't get a good view here, but there are cars for miles and miles and miles. I'm trying not to hit a pedestrian. Usually they got people... Why is that guy parked right there? Oh, you can't get in there. Oh my gosh. There's usually people here with the orange vest telling you where to park, but you got people parking where you're supposed to be driving. It's just not cool at all. Uh, yeah, look at I can park right there, maybe. Uh, yeah, you know, you're not supposed to park in certain spots. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to get your car hit. Uh, I'm going to take a chance and go down here. Oh, there's a, this looks like a spot right here. It is! Uh, should I park behind that guy? Yeah. He can get out. As long as he doesn't take off my front bumper with his hitch. Uh, no. Right, we made it. We even got a good parking spot under a tree. This place is nuts. Nutty, nutty, nutty. So, we're going to go in right now and see what we can find. I'll try to take some uh, undercover video. It won't be easy, though. There's a car show. 
think he passed away though. Remember when they had three teams? Um, no, we're about halfway through. Creatures on the outside. Yeah. Oh no. We get more money. We get three to four dollars a piece for them also. This is about what? You want to buy the whole bag? That one's safe. 50 cents. I know. That's probably 35. Oh, I love it. It's big. 42 bucks. Flying skull. Neat. How, about, how about a skunk Hitler? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Well, next time I'll bring more cash. Drink break. <laughs> I got you in your little cart. I like her. Oh my gosh, she's heavy. <laughs> The divorce bike. The cool sled, though. I'm just gonna. Stores like Lowe's. Yeah, and stuff. Someone stole it right out of my yard. Oh, that's that's not good. No. Nope. <laughs> you want to stand over here in the shade, Leroy? Right? I might look at these shoes.
Yeah, I'm tapping out. I ran out of money. My feet are killing me. We made it about through 80% of what's here. And it's getting hot too. About 76 degrees in the sun. Push it yet? Alright. Time to go home. We got uh... Ooh, wait, you want to open that back door and then you can put it inside while I put the wagon away. Alright. So we got... Arrows. Cut on the seat. We got uh, Amish bread. <laughs> we got some LPs and a picture for the office. Put that on the seat. We got Amish jam. That's not music, that's food. We got number 13 mason jar. That's the score of the day. On the floor, yeah, that's fine. Oh, Back window. Uh, three cassettes, all Chicago. Three bucks. Chicago! Chicago! Uh, uranium glass. She took two dollars for it. I think it's, I don't think it's an ashtray. I think it's a candy dish. We'll edit that out. Ah, it's a bug. Tiny burping. <laughs> Not a bug. And then I, uh, this could be the score of the day, I don't know. This is about 10 pounds of cassettes, 45s, and 8-tracks, and an 8-track player for 2 bucks. For the whole box. 2 bucks. I don't even know what's in it. So I'll do an unboxing video to see what's inside this thing, because I have no idea. But we're leaving because we're starving, and it's hot, and it's crowded. Thanks for watching. Alright, this is the haul video from Burley Park. I just got back. We had lunch on the way down. Ooh, am I tired? What a day! Um, yeah, crazy. I ran out of money, got down to eighteen dollars, and had to tap out. And I said, "I'm done. I'm out of here." Um, so yeah, great video. Um, it was uh, it was difficult. I had to. I used my cell phone, and I would hold it on my chest like this, and kind of like secretly go around. You don't want to be real obvious in a crowd that big. Uh, a lot of people don't like to be videotaped, so. Um, I tried to do it so it didn't look like I was doing it and then my daughter tomorrow made some video too so we spliced it all together and, and did the editing but this is the haul video two big scores and some small scores no big deal um, this is a small score a little too much on the uh, cassette tapes I think I have 22 cassette tapes and none of them are listed yet so I gotta get going on that but this is three different Chicago albums uh, on cassette this one this one and this one uh, I got them for a buck a piece so I'll lot these together I don't know 15 I'll try $15 on that and let's see this one I collect uranium glass sometimes it's called Vaseline glass um, this is a little dish I forgot what the price was on. oh this was on the dollar table. It was marked three bucks, but it was on the dollar table. And I'm like, uh, yeah, Vaseline glass or uranium glass for a dollar, I'll take it. I think it's just a candy dish. Um, it's got a, a maker's mark in the center, but that'll go on eBay for sure for 15 bucks. Um, that, that was a good haul right there. Picture, I, I paid up for this one. I don't know if it's even worth it, but I think you can see that. It's like, uh, 
I don't know if it's a miniature movie poster or a lobby card or whatever, but it's for the movie Black Cat. I don't think it's a reproduction. It does look kind of old. Um, I don't really care. It's going to go on the wall up here behind me because I need, I need to fill this wall up. It's getting really boring. But I thought it was cool. Um, it was $20, and uh, I asked her if she'd take 17 and she said yeah. So it, this is a keeper. This really heavy box. This is like five pounds. This is a huge box that was sitting on a shelf, and on the box it said two dollars box. And I just glanced at it, and the old guy said, "Yeah, the whole box is two dollars." I said, "Really? I couldn't take out my money fast enough. This box is full of cassettes, eight tracks, forty fives, and an eight track player." He said the eight track player works. I don't really even care about the 8-track player. Even if I threw half of this stuff away, I'm going to make a, a good profit. It, I mean, this is like 10 pounds. It's super heavy. So I'm going to pause the video, um, and I'm going to do an unboxing video. I don't even know what's in here. I haven't even opened it up, and so we're going to do it together and see what's in here for the first time. All right, I got the selfie stick. I apologize for the quality of the, the lighting and the sound in the video, but... Here we go. Let's see what we got here. This is crazy. I'm not going to go through uh, Hot Ice 45. I'm not going to go through the name of every single 45. There's just too many of them. But uh, I don't know that there's a lot of value in the 45s unless you guys want to know. Shoot, you know, put it down in the comments. Life Serial Record. You cut this off. I don't know if that came off the box. Um, send me an email or put in the comments if you want to know specifics, like who these 45s are or what they are. Um, I might put them on my eBay store. I don't know. Used 8-tracks have very little value. Um, I have no way of testing them. I will sell 8-tracks if they're brand new, sealed in the package. That's a blank 8-track. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Freddy Fender. Here's one, ACDC, that's a, if I could test that, that would probably sell good. It's uh, like a videotape rewinder right there. I don't know what that is. That's what I'm more interested in. Ah, uh, U2, awesome. That's a score. Bob Seger, that's a score. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Coca-Cola. Freddie Mercury, and Vogue, Natalie Cole. So it's like a greatest hits Coca Cola cassette. Probably came free with a 12 pack of Coke. Uh, who's that? I don't know who. Yeah. Country singer, I know his name, George Strait, maybe. Uh, this is uh, Cindy Lauper. It's all damaged. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Let's see here. Uh, Pat Benatar. It's missing the sleeve, so I don't know about that. I might have to light it up cheap. Uh, Ray Stevens, I believe that's a comedian. Uh, Steve Earle. I'm guessing that's country. Uh, let's see here. Another Steve Earle. Uh, Chris Cross. I don't even have to read it, I can tell. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's Chris... Criss Cross album. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, two dollars for this entire box. This is ridiculous. Uh, the very best of Janie. I have no idea. Bonnie Tyler. She's good. If you like the 80s. Uh, Christmas with the Chipmunks. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, let's see here. What is that? Chamber of Horrors, it's a Halloween sound effects tape. Um, Joe Public. Sometimes you just gotta take the bad with the good, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I don't know what that is. Rock and Roll generic tape. Uh, original. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, another Fleetwood Mac, that's a score. Oh, let's see here. This Louise Mandrell, that's kind of funny. 
Um, Christmas something. Christmas tape. Uh, Paul Simon. That's a score. And um, I, oh, it's a brand new unopened pack of blank tapes. But they're not high bias. They're not metal. Um, kind of worthless. I might throw those in for free. I don't know. Lot those up with something. Uh, another chipmunks. Uh, oh, here we go. Unopened uh, head cleaner for a VCR. Um, I don't know if those are hard to find or not, but these will sell for sure. I can easily sell that for about ten bucks. Ship that medium mail. Um, uh, Faith-based cassette. Don't know who that is. This is one looks. Billy Joel the Stranger. It's like a mixtape somebody made for the girlfriend. I don't know. Probably throw that away. Uh, let's see what do we got here. This is a. <laughs> it's kind of janky, but this is a, a video cassette rewinder. Um, I don't know that there's a market for that. There might be. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. It's probably not worth shipping if it's kind of heavy. You gotta be careful when you do these unboxings too. There could be mice in here or bugs. You just don't know. Um, so here's the 8-track player. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's got a price of two dollars on it. It's a Ross. That's weird. Um, yeah. So I could plug in some speakers here. It looks like it's an all-in-one. It's got it's probably got a little tiny amp inside of it, but yeah. There we go. So I can plug in some old speakers, plug it in. If it works, I might use it to test my used 8-tracks. I don't know. But there's really not a market for these unless it's a very high-end. If it's Marantz, if it's Pioneer, um, some in-demand brand. Ross is kind of an inexpensive brand, so I don't think there's a lot of demand for that. It's kind of speaker wire or something. Uh, I don't know if that's a cleaner. And uh, so yeah, that's about it. All right, that's my unboxing video from uh, Burley Park. What a day! Very long, long day. And this poor wall, it's gonna get filled up soon. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.